Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. And uh, today I am going to be showing you how to create this low poly weld covered in this dome shape thing. Um, the original idea for this was sent to me via the newsletter email and um, up until now I had not really looked into this whole uh, low poly style. Uh, it's actually quite popular and it's quite an interesting uh, look and uh, I had a lot of fun playing around with it and uh, in the end this is what I came up with. So hopefully in this uh, tutorial I will show you some of the things you should uh, keep in mind uh, trying to pull off this uh, type of look and then hopefully with that you should be able to move on and uh, use your creativity and imagination to make something a lot better. So in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at how to create the geometry. Um, so starting with the ocean followed by the land, this mountain at the back, the clouds and then the dome. And then in a different tutorial I will take a look at um, how to do the lighting. So let's uh, jump into cinema and uh, let's start building the geometry starting with the, with the ocean. So for this I will get a circle and I will just make sure that it's on a flat plane and I will drop this into an extrude nerves. So if I click on the circle, hold A or T and get extrude nerves, I want to zero out the Z movement which is uh, set to 20 by default and I want to go to caps and uh, all the way down here where it says type I want to change this from end guns to triangles and then tick regular grid. Um, okay there's uh, way too many segments here so I'm gonna increase the width to 40 and I think this will work better for this uh, tutorial. And then I will hit C to make this into an editable object. Go to MoGraph Effector and I'll get the random effector. And then I'm going to drop this under the extrude nerves which uh, I should rename to Ocean just so it's uh, more organized. I'm going to go to the random effector and at the moment you can see it's not doing anything. This is because uh, the deformation mode uh, is set to off. Change this to point mode and now the random effector is affecting the individual points. I'm going to go to the parameter tab and I will lower the position to 5, 5 and 5 um, because the default 50, 50, 50 is just uh, way too much. If I um, go back to growed shading, you can see the edges are a little bit more random, but uh, the surface still looks quite smooth. And uh, this is because of the font tag. We need to remove this. And uh, when I do that, now you can see the way the light is bouncing off uh, each of the polygons. And uh, this is how you get uh, that low poly look. Okay, uh, we can create a basic material, just uh, give it a blue color, something like a light blue, and then just uh, drop this onto our geometry, and this is going to be the color of the ocean. Next up, we are going to make this land section, and uh, I am going to begin with uh, the landscape object. And uh, I'm just going to set the width to 400, which will bring it right to the edge of the ocean, and then also the Z depth to 400. There's too many segments, so I'm going to lower that to 20 and 20, and maybe lower the height to 25. And then I'm going to move this up, and then move it toward the back. And maybe play around with the plateau level just so we can raise that up a little bit not too much maybe around 60 percent and uh, we can uh, just adjust the position until we have something that looks okay maybe make it wider even 
and uh, I think this should be a uh, good balance uh, of the land compared to the ocean area. Now obviously this is uh, overlapping over the edges and I want it to be uh, trimmed so that it fits this round shape. So what I'm going to do is uh, get a cylinder, give it a radius of 200, which is the same radius as the circle we used for the ocean geometry. And then I will get uh, both of these and uh, drop them into a bull tool like this. And if I just uh, solo the, the bull tool, uh, by the way, this is a plugin called Magic Solo. Uh, you should get it. It's very, very useful. Um, I think I want A intersect B. And um, if that doesn't work right away, you just need to flip the order of your two objects. So now this is going to be cut around and uh, trimmed around the edges and will fit perfectly with the, the existing ocean. I'm going to hit C to make this whole thing editable and uh, the cylinder is still here but it's not actually doing anything. I'm going to remove this and then just uh, delete the, the bull tool null. I'm going to go to polygon mode, Control A to select all the polygons, right click and uh, let's triangulate. That was uh, slightly off screen but uh, if you right click and go all the way down to the bottom there is a triangulate command. So now we have um, this piece of geometry and it's made up of uh, these triangles just like the geometry we used for the ocean. I'm going to go to uh, uh, my uh, original geometry and just copy this uh, random effector and uh, drop it underneath the landscape and uh, maybe just lower these numbers to maybe 3, 3 and 3 and remove the phone tag so we can see the sharp edges um, like this. And I uh, can create another basic material. Let's uh, make this one green, maybe like a dark green color or something a bit more washed out. And uh, let's drop this onto the landscape and uh, that looks great. If you, if we go back to the, um, uh, the preview image, we can see these little areas which are orange and those are supposed to be like the beach uh, next to the edge of the ocean. So for this we don't need any new geometry. We just need a new texture, a new material and uh, let's make it like an orangish uh, or like a washed out orange color. Something like this. And I need to go to the landscape geometry and then just uh, select some of these polygons which are next to the ocean just uh, select them randomly around the scene and uh, drop the texture onto here and uh, this is what we have. Next up we're going to create these mountains which are at the back and uh, we do this by uh, getting another landscape object and let's uh, rename it right away. Let's call it mountain mountain um, and uh, again there's way too many segments let's go for 10 by 10 I'm gonna go back to modeling mode and I'm just gonna bring this in make it a lot smaller and uh, just uh, bring it above everything and push it toward the back here Can make it taller like this, make it narrower even, maybe even taller than this. And I just want to make sure that it's sitting um, and sort of intersecting with the, with the landscape. And uh, in the settings here, there is a seed um, control, which allows you to randomize how this looks. So, you know, I actually kind of liked the first one. But uh, what if I duplicated this, moved it to the side a little bit, move it back a touch, make it shorter, and then uh, this is kind of like a secondary part of the of the mountain, and that can play around with the seed just so it looks uh, completely different from the the first one, and then I can select uh, both of these 
hit C to make them editable remove the font tags so we can see the sharp edges and uh, this look pretty good already um, but just to keep everything um, uh, just to keep some continuity I wanna triangulate these uh, segments as well and I think that just looks uh, better okay um, so those are the mountains as you can see very easy to do and I can create a new material I'm gonna edit it over here and uh, let's make it like a brown color a bit more orange in this like a light washed out brown color and uh, drop it onto the two mountains and uh, that's that uh, next up is the two clouds in the sky and uh, the way I did this was um, first of all grab a sphere and uh, lower the radius to maybe 25 I'm gonna solo this and the number of segments uh, maybe just 10 drop this into a cloner object set the mode to radio just uh, bring it in go to more graph effector let's grab another random effector just to randomize the position a little bit and uh, we can play around with the settings and I think um, maybe something like this looks okay um, I can maybe lower the number of uh, clones and then I'll drag this whole thing into a metal ball object uh, I need to lower the number of subdivisions to maybe 15 and uh, this basically joins all those uh, spheres up and uh, this is kind of like how I made the geometry for the cloud okay I'm going to unsolo this okay this is uh, way too big um, so we need to make it editable but before we do that I need to match the editor subdivision with the render subdivision to 15 so that when I hit uh, C to make this editable the number of segments will remain the same I can then just uh, make it smaller bring it up here and uh, position it somewhere above the, the mountain maybe like here or so I can uh, press T to bring up the scale and just uh, bring this down I think that's a good position I'm gonna duplicate this and uh, move this out here just in front of the other cloud make it smaller and then maybe rotate it just to make it look a little bit uh, different maybe move this out here so those are the clouds um, again I'm just going to triangulate everything and uh, remove the phone tags so we can see all of the uh, the sharp edges okay and now uh, we're just going to create a new basic material let's uh, make it white and drop this onto our two clouds so that's that uh, the final thing we need to create some geometry for is this dome which covers the the whole thing and uh, for this I'm going to get a sphere and uh, you know you could you'd think you would just get a sphere and uh, you know make it a hemisphere make it large and uh, that would be it but uh, as you can see these uh, segments are not triangles and uh, also they get smaller at the top so even if we wanted to triangulate them there would be different sizes at the top uh, compared to the bottom so I'm gonna use the icosahedron, isosahedron um, sphere, and uh, we'll leave the segments at uh, 24. And I need to trim off this entire section at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is to get a cube, and let me solo these two polygons, and I'm going to increase the length and width of the cube 
and then set the y position to minus 100 so that it cuts the sphere on the x z plane right here and then if I uh, get both of these into a boo tool and maybe just flip you can see now this is completely cut off and then I can make this into an editable object and remove the cube section and if I unsolo I now have my uh, my dome so I'll call this dome and then this two as a cloud and another cloud there too and for this I will need a new material and uh, if I go to the basic tab I want to enable transparency and uh, just drop this onto the, the dome which is uh, all the way down here for some reason and uh, that's it that is how you create the geometry for this little low poly world and uh, that concludes this tutorial in the second part we will take a look at the lighting and rendering thanks for watching